Hi, we, we will talk here about a special group of agate that are usually called lace agate. And this lace agate is a, a quite different appearance respect to the agate we saw until now. So they are um, agate in vein with uh, a very rough banding of chalcedony and interbedded with uh, other mineral as mm, quartz, uh, very big crystal of quartz, usually amethyst, with uh, calcite, with um, aragonite and many other minerals. So this alternation that usually are uh, pseudomorphed because the, uh, the silica uh, as we seen in the chapter about <coughs> about the the sagenite, the silica replace uh, most of the crystals that are included in in between the calcedony. So this is uh, a, a pseudomorph of uh, calcedony after uh, calcite. But what is strange is that this is not a sagenite; is an alternation of two two minerals. So there is alternation of chalcedony and the other mineral. And these agate are often associated with metallic or deposit, gold or silver and also copper, and are typically more deep than usual agate that are found in soil. These are usually found in mines. So this is one of the typical uh, mm, mm, lace agate, is crazy lace is very famous uh, because the production mm, is very high and as we saw is an alternation of mm, chalcedony with some quartz and mm, there is some band of uh, dog tooth calcite and also aragonite in there. A another um, lace agate is the very well known sobelly agate from from a um, silver mine district in Colorado and we saw we see that the alternance is quartz and chalcedony but the quartz uh, is is not uh, really a band as we can found in nod nodular agate but is thicker and uh, can reach few centimeter and is always amethyst another very famous lace is the amethyst lace from the state of Durango and we see also here there is smoky amethyst uh, uh, quartz, but it's interpreted with very nice colored, uh, colored chalcedony with hue of blue and pink. So another uh, from Arizona, from Payson, is uh, a kind of sequence of quartz with some chalcedony in the middle. But many states of United States and uh, all around the world give many vein of poorly cor colored alternance of quartz and chalcedony, and uh, uh, this kind of material is rar rarely used in gemology because they are poorly col colored. But uh, material usually is tough. Uh, also, we have material from Georgia that is. Mm, not a famous place for for agate, Missouri and so on. This is a very famous material from Schlotwitz in Germany. And this is one of the few lace very colorful. The bands are very colorful and also the amethyst can give very huge uh, specimens, very popular in German in Germany. But less uh, no are uh, some material found in France this is mm, from a very old uranium mine in the uh, in the 50 and this material uh, ha had a very short life and you see is an alternation of quartz with some band of chalcedony in between this is another material from france very very few know and there is also the same alternance between uh, chalcedony and quartz and in this case there is a kind of brecciation so we can see this first banding is cut by a second uh, banding here 
this is two sample of uh, lace uh, with chalcedony and barite from uh, this is from the island of Kimolos in Greece and this come from a silver mine, very old silver mine and this is from a deposit uh, with uh, a gold ore deposit and this is a similar um, lace agate with also with barite this is another uh, silver mine in Nevada with uh, what we see in Sagenite agate is a silicified barite but it's also a kind of uh, uh, of lace agate j just because this specimen show not the lace but there is alternance between barite and other, the other minerals Australian lace is m a material very similar to the crazy lace but is in yellow and this come from <coughs> Western Australia so mm, we can try to talk about the so belly agate that has been very well studied and um, this is a different uh, genesis of what we are used to, to see until now is an open system, system because it is a vein agate but uh, there are two different uh, fluid that give mineralization to this vein one fluid mm, form the colloidal solution that uh, deposit the chalcedony and another fluid form the dilute hydrothermal solution that form the quartz so um, the, the two sources come from two different uh, situ geological situation um, the uh, colloidal solution are formed by highly um, saline brim that are uh, water with high concentration of salt, so very alkaline and this come from a salt lake uh, this is uh, active uh, in, the, in the dry season and uh, the brim mm, reach the, the fracture where the agate are forming and make uh, a deposition of chalcedony but when arrive the rainy season there is uh, the uh, starting of a, a, an hydrothermal system an hydrothermal system is uh, a circle of water water go deep and uh, reach a source of uh, heat and uh, is heated and then when is heated is go up again and uh, bring in the path in during the upflow bring in solution many minerals and then when arrive near the surface start to deposit during its cooling to deposit all the mineral here in solution so this mineral can be aragonite, amethyst, amethyst, amethyst or other kinds of quartz, barite, calcite, etc. so uh, we can have a scheme by two different fluid that is uh, possible to use for all the uh, lace agate and this um, also uh, uh, similarly as we seen with normal agate is uh, depending on the uh, weather on the uh, dry or rainy season so during the rainy season the hydrothermal system is active so the water enter in the earth go down reach uh, near to the magma chamber is heated and a not solution that is called hydrotherm hydrothermal solution uh, go up passing through the rock take some mineral solution and then deposit it when it's cooling in this system of fracture where the lace agata are forming but when in the dry season this um, hydrothermal cycle uh, stop so there is not uh, rainy water and so this stop when this is stopped the salt lake that have a very uh, mm, uh, dense uh, brin uh, they are called brin and it's a, a water with a very high salinity so this brin are li li little bit colloidal very dense and uh, are uh, very alkaline because of the salt the salt so can have a lot of uh, 
uh, of uh, um, silica in solution. But these uh, solutions are cold. So this cold solution can enter in the fracture system and deposit chalcedony. And the chalcedony is deposited in an open system by a colloidal solution. This is possible only in the dry season because we know that the formation of a colloidal solution is easy to do in a closed system in nodular agate, but it is not so easy to make a colloidal uh, system, colloidal solution inside an open system. So you have to make, uh, to, have a, to have a very big source of colloidal solution, it's not enough. The, uh, the quantity is inside the nodule, but the, the, the big quantity of colloidal solution. So when we have again the, uh, the, the new hydrothermal solution that arrive, hydrothermal solution is diluted, for this reason it crystallized quartz. So uh, at the moment that new uh, solution hot arrive from, from the hydrothermal system, all the colloidal system is destroyed. So the 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 the, the brain uh, disappear because they are diluted and also well, that that part of chalcedony that is not hardened yet um, gone. So uh, a new uh, uh, crystallizing system, a uh, hydrothermal system uh, arrive and until the next dry season we cannot have a, a new colloidal solution. So the fight between the colloidal system and the hydrothermal system make the alternation of the two kinds of mineral, the chalcedony and the other mineral. So mm, we see mm, that uh, the lace agate I is a quite different uh, system of growing banded agate in respect of what we see. We see the banding is typical of clo closed si system where only one kind of solution actually is the colloidal system um, and only one solution enter, transform in colloidal solution and make banding. The banding is not possible in vein agate where um, the system is open. We also have one solution here but the system is open. So when it's open, it's not possible to transform the, uh, the f water f that fills the cavity in a colloid. So it's very difficult. Uh, uh, only we have banding at the last stage of uh, closing the vein when the system becomes closed. So when the, the calcene grow enough to separate some uh, portion of the vein that become closed system here we have some kind of banding. So we, we understand here that the banding is a peculiarity of a closed system because only the closed system is able to transform a solution in a colloidal solution by evaporating. So there is a kind of distillation and the evaporation uh, is just uh, evaporating water living inside the, the silica that increase the, 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 the concentration of the silica in the solution and transform the diluted solution in, in a colloidal solution. So in the case of Lays, we have an open system and the, the alternation of the two solutions. In this case, we can see that the difference are quite strong. The banding is more lazy, evidently, because the presence of big quartz, but we cannot have never moss. Why? Um, actually, uh, mostly because of temperature. These mm, systems are more deep and more high temperature than a uh, normal nodular agate. So we are talking maybe one, two kilometer in the deep. So uh, it's quite uh, more high temperature, in some cases possibly more than 100 degrees. So all the reaction with the host rock are impossible here. 
and also there is not accumulation of sick po portion of chalcedony because any uh, ear band is just uh, stopped by the arrival of the next um, diluted endothermal solution so we cannot reach a very sick sickness of chalcedony where uh, uh, moss and plume can grow inside so we can make big crystal of quartz but we cannot make big band sick band of chalcedony and also there is not horizontal banding never it's, it's impossible to have horizontal banding inside this lace agate because uh, horizontal banding is a kind of dilution in a closed system of the uh, concentric banding so in this case uh, uh, the uh, system is completely uh, colloidal in the, in the dry season and, the, and, and will be completely diluted in the dry season, in the wet season. So uh, the, the dilution is too strong for crystallized more chalcedony and will crystallize more high tempered mineral like, like <coughs> quartz, aragonite, and calcite. Not so much high temperature but more high temperature. So in this way we, we realize that there is a way to, to, to build up a banded agate in a different uh, uh, dynamics than the classic nodular banded agate. But if we look at the deeper, uh, the bands here are different. It's a kind of thin chalcedonic concretion with high crystallinity and is not the same sequence of the band that we can find in the closed system and also, and also these materials are a little bit more rare because they are found in usually in mines so the activity of the mine cannot stop for dig for agate and uh, maybe we found some material in the market for a few months then the mine uh, go uh, continue to to dig so um, it's quite uh, difficult to have uh, constant production of this kind of lace agate but actually they are very very common and probably much 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 more common than we can imagine and possibly any mines can have some kind of mm, lace agate in some in some level because uh, silica is always important in the production of ore deposit